Hey, what's good, Barbecue family? It's your boy Joe Mill here, back with Killer Miller Q. And today is a football Sunday. Time to make us a little fire. It's been a long time. I'm pulling out the old Lone Star. We got a head to head beef rib challenge. You know it's going to be good. Let's get right to it. the music as you can see we got these beat back ribs chilling out here it is week two and it's time to get these things going it's bright and early it's hot already 35 dollars at what 448 a pound has got us what we needed here today so i ain't too mad at 35 dollars a pound these are from my local grocery store not a whole lot we're gonna do to these i don't like taking my membrane off the back so they're gonna stay as is once i get them off the pack i will give them a little rinse off pat them dry and i'll see if i see any like hanging fat other than that we should be these right out and we'll get the board together and uh, we'll set up this old challenge okay here go these beef back ribs look at the gouge in this one right here hey it is what it is all you can do is play with what you got once you get it out this pack but i got them upside down already they are ready to get their first application of seasoning got them cleaned up got them dried off this is what we're going to be doing the challenge will be between sweet smoky joe's beef and pork rub and then Big Papa Smoker's Beef Rub right here. Both of these rubs I've had for a while. This one right here, I don't think I've ever actually put on like a straight big, uh, big beef item. So I'm actually curious to see how this one's going to taste. It's got a lot of good flavor. Both of these rubs don't have a ton of salt, which I think lends itself a little bit better towards these beef ribs. They don't need a ton of salt and they don't want to be over seasoned. But I think both of these should do well. The Sweet Smoky Joe's, I got that one from uh, Smoking and Grilling with AB. And this is one of the different ones that they had. But all of their rubs are really low in sodium. So I should be able to get a good application on here on both sides and not be too overpowering. So with that said, let's see what they look like next to each other. There we go. This is the uh, beef and pork rib. Mm. Rub, not rib, but rib, yes. And then here's the old cash cow beef rub from Big Papa Smokers. I'm going to let this chill out just for about five minutes and then I'm going to flip sides. No binders today, folks. No binders today. And this is the money side of these ribs. Here we go with the pretty side for Sweet Smoky. And then we got the other rib that's got that nice little hole in it right here for that cash cow. Let's get this side done up. There you go. Big Papa over here got a nice little texture to it. I was not too afraid to put a decent amount on here being that it didn't have too much salt. This should be a whole lot of flavor. And the same thing with this Sweet Smoky Joe's. I'm going to let these babies hang out, let them get nice and wet. My fire is over there looking proper and we getting on there to get some smoke. Ooh, these babies are turning candy over here with this beef rub. These I feel like are holding on more or less and that rub still sitting on top, but it's all on there. We're going to the pit. Cooking along the day at roughly, I'm a little hot. I'm going to be at 275 when I start, but I'm going to kind of cave down into about the 250 and roll out from there. All right, everything is set. We got the pecan rolling about roughly 275-ish right now, and we'll roll into a good 250. I'll bring y'all back along the way. Rolling right along, just opened up this back. We've been hitting about 250 now, which is what I want it to be. Getting some of that pecan wood in there. Let's take a peek. We got about 45 minutes. Uh, we're getting us some nice color here. Just to kind of keep things fun and honest, I'm going to flip these two and scoot this one a little bit closer towards the flame. And uh, we're going to let them keep on rolling. I'm going to grab my big spatula. I'll bring y'all back here in about another 45 minutes when it's time to get some wood in. I want to jump in here real quick and throw out this quick announcement. The new Killer Miller Q fan club is open. Please, if you're looking to support the channel and you want to do more, then go to that bottom right corner and subscribe. Make sure you check that out. Monthly, I'm going to be throwing out a whole bunch of extra cooks, a whole lot of tidbits, and a whole lot of behind the scenes on what we do here at Killer Miller Q in AZ. You know what time it is. Let's get back to the work. Hour and 45 minutes in. Hour and 50 minutes in. Ooh, we're getting some good looking color over here. You can see these trying to warp up a little bit. It's the big pop of smoker ones. They got the nice pretty. And then I got that big hole over here in the other. Good looking color. As you can see, I did flip these from one side to the other. 
Um, I'll probably do that one more time. And I also gave it 180 turn, just trying to keep them even. There we go, another 180 flip and a rotation. Um, I am going to be wrapping the day in some butcher paper only because I want to get these things done. So I'm about to leave these babies alone for a little bit longer, get this color up a little bit more. I check in at about two and a half hours and I think by then I should be ready to get it done. Walk with me, talk with me team. Two and a half hours and we've been rolling strong. I know I'm where I want to be on color. Check these babies out. I brought a thermometer and we will... Um, Get a temp just cause, so I kind of got an idea where they at. But man, I love that red looking color in there. Whole lot of good clean smoke that's been put on these babies. We're gonna go take them over to the table for further surgery. Oh, we can do it now. That's the side that's got that hole in it. Hey, I tell you what, as I was getting ready to wrap, I start temping these babies. Now this one's sitting over here a little further on the wall. My other one was hitting 200, and this one hit 200 too. Just about, let me see. Try not to get the bone. Bam. These actually, looking like they damn near about done. Oh, same spot, let me go over here. Let's see what you got. Yeah, these might just be about done. Let's get them up off of here. Back over here to the table, like I told you, I was literally ready to wrap. I had me some, um, a little bit of tallow that I was gonna put down and just wrap these babies back up and put them back in since they are pretty much where I want them to be. I'm just gonna wrap them up in this butcher paper and let them go ahead and hang out for a little bit. And uh, we'll be tasting into these shortly. Here we go, I'm gonna leave these babies sitting right out here in this 100 degree weather. So it'll be like if I'm putting it in the oven on warm. And I'm gonna let these hang out. They wrapped up, these things is burning my hands. I'm gonna let them hang out for at least a good 15 minutes and start coming down the temp. And then uh, we'll get these babies chopped up and get us a little comparison. It's been long enough, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, it's 100 plus degrees out here. I can feel the wrap and these babies are still nice and warm, but uh, it's time to get into them. So let's see what we got. This one right here is the one with that hole in it. And I will go back and check, but you can pretty much see once we flip it over. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. This one right here is the one that had that big pop of uh, beef rub on there. Look at the color we got out of here. Beautiful red. I got this kind of paper in the way. I know the sun probably beaming, but uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Every once in a while, Lord bless you with a little gift. That's me. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm going to cut it. Mmm. And we're going to set it to the side. That little morsel is still reverberating in my mouth. But these babies cut nice and easy. Ended up being like two and two hours, almost 50 minutes. I see a nice smoke ring. Beautiful color. That was a little morsel that was kind of bent up on here. We ain't got him up off of there, so I'm definitely going to bite off of that in a second. But uh, let me open this one up. Let's get this one open. This is my Sweet Smoky Joe's beef and pork rub. Hello, sweetie. Looking nice and meaty. This was the prettier rib. This one didn't have that hole in here. Let me uh, chop this one up. There we go, all chopped up, and I tell you what, once again, the Lone Star do not deny. Everybody got a nice, beautiful smoke ring going on up in here. Nice and juicy. We went the whole time unwrapped on the rack. No binders, straight up. You know how we do it. All right, who will I be? Who will be the one? I'm liking, usually I try to go for the one that's a little more beat up, but it is, uh, Second football week. Give me this thing right here. He don't look bad at all. Mm. Hot and juicy. And I tell you what, that ain't bad at all. Mm, mm, mm. Let's rotate this table. Get over here. And I think, yeah. Let's see what Big Papa talking about. Mm, mm, mm. Boy. And believe it or not, we got that thing done. 
it's supposed to be getting cold out here but or should i say cool out here but at the end of the day if you can't tell i'm sweating it's a blazing day out here in az but it's a good day for some football i can't even complain feels good to get me a fire going and fire up that old Lone Star. It's been a minute for me actually getting out there, been moving around, doing a bunch of other things. Like I brought up earlier, I've kicked off the uh, fan club version of Killer Miller Q. Check that out. You'll be able to get some early access to some of these uh, videos that'll be coming out. There's going to be some special cooks to healthy cooking series is going to be moving over there to the uh, fan club along with some other additional healthy tips and things like that that we'll kind of add in along with some other fun stuff that'll kind of give you a behind the scenes look at what we do day to day, how we do what we do and how I bring it to you. With that said, let's talk about this challenge that we had. Be free of challenge, man. It's a perfect way, like I said, to bring in some football. Can't be mad at the price of beef ribs. There's not a whole lot of meat, but you do get some great meat. There's normally ribeye sitting on top of there, so they're going to shave the tide on the top. But between those bones, you got some heaven. As you saw, I had those two slabs real close to being similar in size and stature, except for the one had the uh, nice size gouge inside of there. But at the end of the day, that didn't make no difference. We were using um, Sweet Smoky Joe's beef and pork rub. Now, actually, I found out about uh, Sweet Smoky Joe from um, Smoking and Grilling with AB. I'm sure you know about that channel. Great channel. Um, trying his Cajun rub, and I tried a couple of their other ones. I wanted to put that head to head with one that I had before, which was Big Papa Smoker's uh, Cash Cow Beef Rub. Um, both of these rubs have some good flavor on them. Neither one of them are too high in salt, so I was able to go a little bit heavier on there, which is exactly what I wanted. Definitely texture-wise, goes to this cash cow. It's got a little bit more of a knottier uh, thing where this is way more of a, a fine grind. And then overall, when I looked at the overall color, um, as they cooked and when it was all said and done, the uh, cash cow looked a little bit better. It had a nice redness to it. It was pretty. I couldn't complain about that at all. Like I said, it's hot out here. My phone overheated. Literally had a meltdown talking about these old beef ribs. But what I was about to say was, when it comes down to that flavor and that taste, wasn't no question. This part's about to go fast. This uh, cash cow was money. Not even close. This was the one. It had the flavor. It had the texture. This is the do again for sure. I got a decent amount in here, so I'll definitely be able to get it on some. I'll probably do some more beef back ribs or something like that, just because I love the way that that tasted. This was solid, but uh, definitely needed more salt so it could actually have a little bit more pop. Um, this is something that's good, I think, as a secondary rub, not as a rub sent solo by itself. So easy money, definitely a solid cook, good football Sunday. Check out the new videos, check out the new fan club, and I'm going to catch you here in less than a week. We got a whole lot of content coming your way. I appreciate the family, appreciate you in TV land, and all my boys over there at Black Smoke Barbecue. I'll catch y'all soon. Peace.